I was like, man, we need to get Tupac because we heard a song that he did that we said, and we put another beat to them lyrics. That would be dope. So he came in. He was like, man, I need to get some money. Digital Underground was the first time I heard his music, and then we met him, you know what I'm saying, at a party. You know what I'm saying, that's when he was doing Juice, because he came through, he was friends with MC Breed. Breed was friends with D.O.C. D.O.C. is our big homie that lived with us, so everybody would come over to the house. We went to a party, and we started smoking and kicking, and he gave us a laser disc. You know how big that thing is, about like that, so. That's back in the laser disc area, and then we've been cool ever since. It. We had the soundtrack to uh, Murder Was The Case, and I had made that beat. I was like, man, we need to get Tupac, because we heard a song that he did that we said, and we put another beat to them lyrics. That would be dope. So he came in. He was like, man, I need to get some money. Da -da -da -da. You know, we said, man, no problem. He got paid like them at 40000 This is the most he ever got paid on a song. And we didn't even use that song at that time. So we had a relationship and then he went to jail. Then um, we told Shug, man, we need to get Tupac, put him on death row. I should have made that shit happen. You know what I'm saying? And then he came to the studio in October, 95. And we made Ambitious of a Rider, I Ain't Mad At You, Two of America's Most Wanted. Scandalous featuring Nate Dog, rest in peace. And uh, I got my mind made up featuring Red Man, Method Man, and Inspector Deck Corrupt. Rage was on there, but then Tupac took Rage's spot. We used to get up every morning, do songs. You know, they catch me early in the morning, I'll be smoking it. So, you know, catch me early in the morning, you get the freshest beats. Yo, my name is Daz Dillinger, and I talk to Tupac straight on my cell phone.